we don't really manufacture people. So back in the day, you'd hear all these stories of uh, pluck somebody up from obscurity and manufacture them into a pop star. Um, for us, it's really trying to find true talent, um, people who have that within them, and then our job as marketers um, is to bring that out and hopefully um, their talent and who they are as a person is what somebody they want to buy and they want to buy tickets and they want to buy merchandise. If it's about um, imaging the artist, um, you know, I've seen the evolution of an artist, many of our artists over time, you know, they'll go from um, baggy pants and dickies and, and, you know, Adidas, Nike and Converse and, you know, upscale to a Louis Vuitton Gucci. So, you know, we'll have a say in all of that. Um, and be a part of a conversation with the artist when they're going through that transformation. But really our job is to amplify um, and bring a different voice or perspective to the artist as they're trying to craft their image. You know, it's, it's interesting in, in trying to create an artist that resonates with multiple demographics. You look, like an art, you look at an artist like CeeLo, who has had honestly three different careers. So he started um, back in the day in Atlanta with the Goody Mob, um, and then rebranded himself with Gnarls Barkley as a duo of Gnarls Barkley. And now we're on the third rebrand of CeeLo as the solo artist slash TV star, um, you know, sort of mega personality. And, um, you know, and again, as I said before, that really comes from him and his evolution um, as a person. The opportunities to transform the image of black men around what I do. So, and what I do is dealing with brands all the time. And oftentimes there are endorsement campaigns that come out of it. So the endorsement might come in the form of a television, the artist in a television commercial, the artist in um, a print campaign, the artist on, you know, online advertising. Um, or you might see the artist image at retail at a point of purchase display. Um, so I'm just thinking of a, a deal I did in the past in which um, the creative, it was, a, it was a print campaign, the creative that came back that featured multiple artists on Atlantic um, came back and just looked, as I said to uh, the ad agency that's doing it, I said it looks like a really bad hip hop movie poster. It just was not representative of the artists themselves individually and as a collective in doing this multi-artist campaign, it was not representative of who those artists are. It was definitely the depiction of, in someone's brain, of how these artists should look. So as a part of my job, it was put on the brakes, we have to redo uh, this creative entirely. So, um, you know, it comes down to little things like that, but, um, you know, images stacked up against, you know, the creative perception of who a person is. And so in my job, it is being sort of a policeman in trying to protect uh, the artist brand and the artist image. Um, so, and I'm on the front lines of that.